Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is a 2009 Apple Mac Pro. I'll be reviewing it in just a moment. Alright, I'm back. Let's over to the front where there are two CD slash DVD ports, a power button, a headphone jack, two USB 2.0 ports, and two Firewire 800 ports. On the back, there is a US, uh, not a USB, there is a power supply, so you just plug the cord in here and it goes out to your outlet. Then there's a switch that opens up the front. There are four PCI Express slots. Going down, there's a big fan to keep the CPUs cool. On the front, there's also that as well, but it's, it's not open as much as it is on the back. There are also three, one, two, three, USB 2.0 ports, a fi two FireWire 800 ports, digital audio out, digital audio in, analog audio out and analog audio in, and two Ethernet ports. Now, let's head inside the machine. To do that, we're going to unlock it by pulling this switch. A nice feature is this panel just pops out and here you're going to see the inner beauty and of the Mac Pro. Alright, so now we're inside. As you can see, we'll start from top to bottom. Here we have the CD slash DVD drive uh, casing, cover, whatever you want to call it. There's one, two screws here. To, and then when you unscrew that, that just pops out and you can plug in. You have to plug in a couple cords to get it working to get the CD slash DVD drive in there. Now you also note the Mac Pro does not have the capability, well Apple claims that there's not the capability of putting in a Blu-ray because Apple is not related to Sony, but there is tons of rumors that Apple computers, Macintosh computers, are going to have the support of Blu-ray. Now you can buy a Blu-ray drive, a 3.5 inch Blu-ray drive, um, not a 3.5 inch, a, I'm not exactly, I think it's a 5.2 inch, I'm not exactly sure, but you can buy a standard internal Blu-ray drive for uh, in here. Now, heading to your right, we have the power supply. Now, it's not too easy to get in there, and I don't really think you're going to be needing to get in there, but just to note, um, it's just in there and there's this nice aluminum casing cover. Going down, there's one, two, three, four hard drive bays. You can't pull it out because the switch is down. If you pull up or pull out the switch, the hard drives get unlocked. To get out the hard drive, it's as simple as pull it. So here you have the hard drives. Now if I bring it up close, you have the nice bay that easily screws in with one, two, three, four screws into the 3.5 inch hard drive. Now you have, if you want to, you can have up to eight terabytes. Apple claims you can only have, to, uh, have up to four terabytes, but you can buy two terabyte hard drives. I wouldn't recommend buying them because it's new technology and I would go, if you're wanting to, I'd go with a 1.5 terabyte hard drive uh, that's that's your safest bet. And also note that if you want to, you can po put in, you know, three or four hard drives, as many hard drives as you want. And in system preferences, you can raid them together. So that means rather than having rather than Mac OS X um, looking at your hard drive bay and saying, oh, you have two hard drives, it recognizes it as if you have one hard drive. Now the bad thing about that is you have double the chance of losing your information. So instead of having one hard drive, or instead of having, you know, if you lose one hard drive, you still have this hard drive. But if you lose one hard drive, you don't necessarily lose this hard drive, but since the media is synced together, you know, it's, it's not the best thing. I'd rather just have it two hard drives um, separate. Also note, you can put in, I have a 640 gigabyte hard drive in there, if you want to, you could put another 640 gigabyte hard drive in here and just back 
um, and just make a copy from this hard drive to this hard drive so you have a backup. Rather than buying an, inter an, or an external hard drive, buying an internal hard drive is a lot cheaper. Going down, we have right here is a main fan for all the, for all the, um, like the graphic cards and all the PCI cards. Now, in here you have the graphics card that comes standard with all Mac Pros. That is the NVIDIA GT, G, or the GT GeForce 120. It has 512 me megabytes of VRAM. And pretty much that's self-explanatory what the graphics card does. It processes all the graphics. And as you can see, there is one, two, three um, more. And if you go in the back, there's actually one, two, three, four, five casings. Now, the reason they have that is because the hard drive, if you have one of those hard drives that is double the size, um, it easily, you can easily pull it out. Now, there's two screws, one, two, and pretty much you unscrew those. And then you can easily pull out the hard, uh, pull out any PCI card that you have in there. It's super simple to put in a PCI card in there. I've done it before. Um, I was doing it. I did not have that PCI card with me. It was my friend's, and we were just testing it out. Now going down one more, we have a, a CPU drive. Now to pull this out, there's two latches. One here, one on the left, and one on the right. Pretty much, you pull it out through the latches. I'm not going to pull it out all the way. Actually, I think I will. I'll pull it out all the way, come up to the camera, and show you how it is. So there's one, two CPU bays. Um, this one is, um, there, it's an A-core, so there's only two. On the quad-core, there is only, well, one. And if you turn it like this, as you can see, there is RAM here and RAM there. Now, since this RAM is DDR3, uh, having six gigabytes and six gigabytes is better than having something like eight gigabytes because you're going to be getting a bottleneck. Now, what that is, because it's DDR3, it runs on the power of three. So, pretty much, you're going to want something like six gigabytes, you know, 12 gigabytes, something in those range. You really don't want to have something like, you know, eight gigabytes or ten gigabytes. It's just not the smart. It's not the smart choice to go, and you're better off having less RAM than having more RAM if you're running off that. So just keep that in mind at all times.